All right, guys, the next day after shooting my buck yesterday evening around 6.40 p.m. But in today's video, I wanna briefly describe what we have here and some tips on how to attract bigger bucks and have a potential chance of shooting one. But real quick is, this is 125 acres on one side of the property that Jeff owns here. And this is about three quarters of an acre of a food plot. And the key to all of this here is to have year round food. So we have three food plots placed out on top, the, on, on the top side, on the high sides of the property. Down the low sides, there's pasture, which we uh, use clover and just overseed with different types of clovers and things. And he sprays year round with the antler grow and everything. So there's year round food that nobody messes with them. There's plenty of food to eat. This food plot was actually soybeans that he planted back in June. And we let them go all year. And we knew that we were hunting you know, open a week of Kentucky season here. And we left the beans alone. The two plots were beans, the center plot he planted last week in, in wheat. But uh, we left the beans alone and we actually have a ladder stand right over there, roughly 20 yards or so. And I hunted that stand the first day and the second day. Skipped the third day because we had a bad wind. Came back the fourth day and then we hunted the fifth day and I ended up shooting my buck. But we were getting pictures on the reveal cell cams of this buck coming in, calling the, Jeff calling the big nine. And it was pretty religious, you know, pretty strategic every day. Kind of missed a couple days here and there. But then we had a rainstorm yesterday around one o'clock, four o'clock it stopped, got in the stand, 640 shot the deer. But nobody messes with them. There's year round food here. So the deer never have to leave. We actually just planted some fruit trees uh, earlier today. Today, we actually took the soybeans because we're both done hunting. Jeff shot his buck as well on the second evening. Um, but we bush hogged these beans. We spread uh, winter wheat and some fertilizer. Now there's plenty of food here to last all winter long leading into the springtime. Another tip with this is property goes this way back in the woods. It's thick ridges, hills, benches and such. And we don't go in there. Um, there are probably some places that we could hunt in the mornings, but why? You know, we ended up just pushing the deer out. So we let skip the mornings. We hunted the afternoons and um, we hunt this on a south wind. So the wind's blowing this way over top down into this creek bottom. Hits that creek bottom, it's going to, you know, go down below. Actually, the funny thing is, is the deer actually came from that way. They ended up circled around me. I thought they were going to come out here. Traditionally, they come out this way, but they ended up circling around, came right out here. Deer were standing right behind Jeff there tree stand, shoot it double long, ran right down there about, we think it ran, 50 yards? Tops. Yeah, 50 yards tops, went down. Probably fell 30. Yeah, probably went all the way down to the bottom to the creek. Jeff busted his foot, getting the buggy back there with the winch, and it was had to be every bit of 275 pound deer. Oh yeah. Yeah, it was heavy. Uh, he busted his foot, ripped his toenails up, and yeah, he might be going to the doctors here shortly. But that's just some tips. You know, we don't, nobody goes in there. Nobody messes with them. Give the deer plenty of room um, to do what they want. Plenty of food for there's no reason for them to leave. Constantly adding more food, which, you know, fruit trees, there's oaks, year round food plots, clovers, pastures that sprayed, and that's it. And we both harvested, uh, Jeff shot a velvet eight point. I shot a nine point out of velvet, all within five days of hunting, just afternoon sits. And um, that's it. So any questions, post them down below. Give the video a thumbs up. And hopefully uh, you guys have some success this year. And um, my next hunt is going to be in about three weeks here when opening day of Pennsylvania season. I'll see you.